the the response from your team considering you lose one of your your key players and you knew that you were going to need some unconventional lineups some guys to to really step up what do you have to say about what you saw from your team tonight yeah i, I can't you know as a as the coach of our team and just I, i've never been more satisfied or elated proud of of the players staff really everybody that's a part of our program uh this was not an easy task. You know, traveling back from Omaha, not, not playing as well, uh, losing that game, which Creighton's a great team. They really are. And then losing Zach on the heels of that and having a couple of days and playing what I think is, again, you know, not only one of the best teams in the Big East, but uh, I wouldn't want to play Providence in, in any tournament. Uh, they're tough, old, great coach. Uh, it's just so hard to beat them. So for us to be able to do it, and in particular the way we did it, where you know Bynum bank, banks the three in, uh, we're not perfect down the stretch, and just still kind of staying with it, staying with it. I mean, if if I would give out game balls, I, I really could give out almost a game ball to each one of the players that played for us. I mean, Adam Adam Kunkel's three point shot was the the game winner in a sense. I mean, it it, it was an amazing pivotal moment in a game that really allowed us to win. He also had a lob, great pass to Jack Nunji when we were down two points. So I, I highlight him because statistically he doesn't jump off the page. <clears throat> but Jerome's seven offensive rebounds and how much energy uh, he used guarding Bryce Hopkins. Uh, Jack Nunji, I, I feel like I'm constantly yelling at him to do more. And, you know, you look at it, I mean, this guy played 39 minutes, 10 for 15 from the floor, 3 for 4 from 3, 14 rebounds, 23 points, 3 assists, and 1 turnover in a game like that. I mean, it's just like a great performance, you know. And, you know, I thought Kobe was really good. And, uh, and Sule, you know, we got to get him freed up a little bit more. I, I don't think he's getting great looks right now. But he played, nine, he played and had 9 assists and 1 turnover. Uh, I thought the key stat for us was five five turnovers in 45 minutes. Uh, just a great performance when you can play a game at that level, five turnovers for 45 minutes. That's why we won. Well, that was going to be my next question, Sean, but I'll forsake that and go on to uh, the fact that, that you guys got out to a, such a fast start, you know, two 14-point leads, then they make the charge. Did you sense they were going to come back in that game even when you guys were rolling early? For sure. You know, we're not 20 points better than Providence. Uh, they're not 20 points better than us. It's just, it's a, it's a clash of, of two, two good teams, you know. So uh, they, we knew they were going to make their run. I would say the, the shakiest part of the game for us was really at the beginning of the second half. You know, it was like almost like an uh-oh moment. They, they came out. I thought they were like the, the harder playing team in that segment. And really, that's what we, that's all we talked about is just, don't allow them to, to, to be tougher and to play harder. And, and that's the reason that we don't win. And, uh, and I give Providence credit because when you say that to your own team, that's because that's what the other team's great at. And they usually just, they can put you away with their physicality and offensive rebounding. You know, we shot 23 free throws and we had a bad night from the line. We're fortunate to win, but they shot 18. And usually they make more free throws than their opponent attempts. Uh, I thought, again, that shows that we were physical as well. And uh, I thought we did a good job in that, in that key area right there. Obviously, it's just one game without Zach. But, but getting through it, what, what, do you, what makes you feel maybe more comfortable that, that you, can, you can weather the storm without him? You know, for sure. I mean, college sports, there's, a lot of it is confidence. You know, individuals having confidence, coach can lose your confidence, uh, but of our team, and, and this is a vulnerable moment because, you know, Zach Fremantle is an important part of what we've done through 22 games. Everybody knows that. And uh, we, we got in a groove of playing a certain way, especially on offense. So you just wonder how, how are we going to be without him. And uh, I think we know a lot more now. It's not like we're a finished product, but I think it allows our players to feel good. I think it's a, it's a confidence booster for somebody like Jerome. I believe that's the most minutes he's ever played in a college game. 
by the way, he cramped up. So like that, it just kind of shows you that was different for him. And now he's going to bounce back and be ready again on Saturday. But I thought Jerome's toughness and his energy that he exerted on defense was just it was it was it, it would be you want to use that as an example for future players for future teams that's how you do it right there and uh we really issued a challenge out to him and he he accepted it and, and look Bryce Hopkins is a heck of a player um but I thought Jerome did about as good of a job as anyone has all season on him you know I think with, with Bynum banking in the three maybe a younger team, maybe a team that, that doesn't believe in themselves as much, that may in and of itself have been enough to, to turn the tide in overtime, to, to really give Providence all the momentum. Why didn't that happen, do you think? Yeah, I mean, it was tough in that, in that time out. I mean, uh, that was uh, – God bless Bynum. He's a heck of a player, but that was a, that was a lucky shot. I don't know if he called bank on that, on that one, you know. Uh, some good fortune was attached to it, but – he also had a shot in the corner to win it, and uh, he almost made that one too, by the way. But he's tough in the clutch. We know that. And, uh, you know, it was just a matter of that belief. You know, we've – the thing about our team is you have to realize how many hard, difficult, close games we've been in. I mean, from the onset of our season, from Kentucky Wesleyan on, we've been in close, tough, hard games. So we've won a lot of them too, and uh, I think that – when we're in that situation, not that we're going to win every time, but uh, I don't, I don't see our team breaking. And, and tonight was a great example of that. So you spoke about a lot about confidence and belief. Colby Jones was just up here and said that they won this game, you know, for Zach. How do you keep that? Because the emotions are obviously high now, but there's an, a month left without Zach, at least. Yeah, you know, the first th the point about Zach is, you know, we. We worry more about him. You know, it's, it's so difficult to watch a really good player, but somebody that's dealt with an injury before, who's worked very hard, who's a big part of what we do, go down at a time when, you know, the spotlight is really on college basketball right at the beginning of February. So I think, you know, Zach's surrounded by the Xavier community, um, and we know that every week, 10 days, he's going to keep getting better and better. Um, but I, I appreciate Colby saying that. You know, I, I think that most importantly, we, we played for each other. And, uh, you know, I, I think that everybody that played tonight has worked hard. And, uh, you know, going through something like this, losing Zach, it can kind of bring out the best in some other, other things. And, and that's really what we're in search of right now.